I remember the time, uh, just before Chris Kirubi passed on, I went to his office, sharply dressed. You know, sharply dressed. Obviously. Yeah, you have, baby. To, you have to. You have to. <laughs> no ready. appointment. Oh, you, mm. you, you are ever saying you wanna buy car? Nataka kuomoka every day. Nataka kuomoka. But you doing nothing. You are spending ten hours on Instagram. I grew up uh, in a society where we are being told money is the root of all evil. Let's see if I may ask you guys, which is the easiest way to make money for someone to become a billionaire or a millionaire? Any young person watching this. Yo, welcome to the Straight Up Talk where we help you with some of the issues you may be facing in your life. So you guys, today I have some fire guests. Yeah, first thing, we have a billionaire in the house, man. We have also Dub in the house. This guy shows guys how to trade online. So these guys are guys who've learned how to make money online and guys who, who can teach us a lot about the mindset towards making money. You know, as young guys, mostly the biggest issue most of us young guys normally have is financial, man. And that one stems out. When, when financial, when you're not okay, it, stems, it, it actually affects many parts of our lives. So guys here are here to help us today. So you guys, could you like give us a brief synopsis of who you are, what you do? Francis, take it, take it away, Francis. Okay. <laughs> So uh, my name is Dabi. Yeah. They call me Dabi. Yeah. Um, my name is Dabi. They call me Dabi, yeah. and uh, I only teach people how to make money online. Yeah. The best thing I, I charge zero on on teaching you how to make money online because I I, I I believe I should first make that money before you make that money. So yeah. I only teach you what, what I do. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So that's the only thing I do. Um, apart from uh, making money online, I'm a hustler. Let me just say hustler. Hustler, yeah, okay. I do anything that gives you money, but oh. I can't kill you. Oh. Can't murder. <laughs> well, like, you know, yeah. lovely, lovely. Say that, yeah, that one has caught me <laughs> off guard. I didn't think you'd say that, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. My, my name is Billionaire. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a name I gave myself in 2016, Sammy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because I believe uh, words have power. Yeah. Uh, the tongue is very, very powerful. Whatever you call yourself, likelihood of you becoming that person is very high. Yeah. Okay. Uta sorta, uta. Uta. because that, that's your from your tongue to god's ears yeah, yeah. so my name is billionaire anthony roberts mm-hmm. and uh, i've been in crypto I've, I've done many things i've been employed i've done business um you know right now i'm just kindly you know doing uh what is called the hype of us mm-hmm. uh the metaverse and we'll go deep into that yeah, for sure uh, mm-hmm. but i also help farmers mm-hmm. with uh, you know organic fertilizer just helping them look for markets and uh yeah so online is the way to go because we live online all of us that's for sure yeah, yeah. so that's that's me that's me and uh, i wear many hats luckily mm-hmm. they're never blown by the wind ah. <laughs> yes. okay. okay okay that's yeah. very interesting to hear of yeah. you. so guys uh here we are most of us are changing lives over here you are changing lives in farming yes uh crypto online making money same as you man so could you guys like share because now this one we want to dive in a bit in the the money part because that's the part man we want to we are struggling even me i'm struggling at that part so yeah. we want to know like like your story towards uh what's what's your story towards like now from now you yourself from when you started to now where you are right now in making money um my story is a bit different yeah so it's a bit different because uh I'm um, this kind of a guy who, who, who started making money while I was in school, primary school. So funny. Okay. Yeah. I uh, my first employer. I was employed when I was in class six. So wow. funny. Class six. Yeah. <laughs> what was I doing in class six, man? I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my yeah. first employment. I was employed when I was in class six. But you know, it depends. Yeah. From where we come from. Yeah. I don't come from a rich family. That's the thing. Yeah. I come from. Yeah. Um. You understand what I mean, right? I get. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I don't wanna dig deep into it. Yeah. So that's when I knew uh the meaning of money and some cash in your pocket so i first li- uh, i started living alone my own house uh, own house yeah no um what do you call them um what do you call them these guys um do you how do you call them housemates or something what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you call them uh house house managers uh, in a yeah, nice yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay. so i started uh living al- alone in class seven alone alone in yeah. class seven yeah. and that's when i i mastered the art of surviving in class seven in class oh, seven. like you're 13. Ooh. yes Oof. my first business yeah. i opened my first business which was uh, uh gikomba biashara this thing to do with trouser shirts and stuff mm. and, and 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 ladies clothes mm-hmm. when i was in form one mm. akibanda not yeah. the normal kibanda and that time you also doing school I'm yes a wow. uh, boarding wow. school boarding yeah. school yeah so anytime uh we had break I would come from Wikibanda Yangu, then I sell. 
so i believe mimi na pesa zilinge kwa kichwa kitambo sana you know that is crazy man yeah, wow. I, I, wow. i i was there i was there okay i'm done who you to supply my english teacher in high school i'm sorry nime nime to bwasiri i'm sorry <laughs> supply with clothes yeah clothes. okay okay um high heels mm. uh, some trousers and stuff and okay it was illegal i'm sorry i'm sorry deputy it was illegal <laughs> but no one knew it yeah i made money yeah. and that's what uh, used to make me stay in school because i used to um uh, i used to provide this to some sabuni and stuff you had some extra boxer you know yeah mm. yeah Hey, you learned many things that many guys don't learn when yeah, guys yeah. learn those things when they're old man because you tell a guy to start a kibanda yeah, even yeah, they'll be like how can i even start a kibanda yeah. man and selling man As sometimes i always feel like um um you know there's this thing there's this thing that um people say nataka kutengeneza pesa you know nataka kutengeneza pesa but now the reason that why do you want to make money why do you want to make money okay which is this thing is pushing you mm-hmm. to make money mm-hmm. you know yeah. this that nataka kuumoka now reason like eco like why do you want kuumoka that's the reason mm-hmm. do you want kuumoka ni fraishe sami you know mm-hmm. do you want kuumoka so that people can was on at least i'm driving i have something yeah. or do you want kuumoka because there's something pushing you kuumoka so me having kibanda I had a reason why why yeah. nilikwenda na kibanda yeah. me um having a business in school in a high school there's a reason why i wanted to to there's a reason why i was doing that okay is it, okay is there something to be proud of it is it is it is okay yeah. that is for sure something it is proud but of. to me Tell that time yeah. that time um you know i, I was doing something bad like I, I i was going against the school's rules in terms you know i was never caught i was smart thank you deputy <laughs> i was never caught yeah. it was biashara ya chini chini you know yeah but i thank god uh, i never had a bad image in school or bad image because yeah. uh, even people like in agarivia have such stories mm-hmm. big businesses in the world yeah. Yeah. these big guys they have the stories of when they were in primary high school they used to go him used to sell lemonade and stuff mm-hmm. so your story we can see a future eh? yes, yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. Also, you need to look for a name billionaire <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. maybe come on a name yeah. also yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. billionaire too maybe billionaire too <laughs> after <laughs> him yeah. after ah, his, sure. yes. so after form one uh, now you you are still selling clothes at that time yeah to your deputy yeah. and then now you finished high school yeah mm-hmm. and then now you what did you do after okay it's it's um after i okay um in high school i scored c plus yeah i scored c plus and to me i felt that that was the, was the lowest yeah, yeah. okay i need to have those a's and b yeah. then um i thought maybe after high school i'll 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 become a video editor and stuff things yeah. to with film and stuff but it didn't happen i was sponsored i was sponsored i was sponsored so um i don't know what really happened you opened your sponsorship and, and and stuff so i was not lucky to to join um campus okay even even after applying for mmu um what do, what do, what do you call this 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 school this, this university here in in, in south b what do you call it what multimedia not multimedia. Mass. mass thanks mass. Yeah, yeah. Mass. yeah mass yeah mass applied and i still have those mabarua so i was called nilikuwa yeah. sawa but things ilikuwa pesa pesa ilikuwa shida yeah. so me when it come to money this 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 thing ilikuwa ni drive you know mm-hmm. and uh, i don't know what really happened about the ilikuwa ni ilikuwa many sponsor uh, i left to a point and they were like hey hakuna pesa so i was l- okay i felt like pesa was there but you know you know in kenya some things people eat money you know <laughs> so walikula pesa I, I i i can't say it walikula pesa i know that mm, you know yeah. and 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 but apart from kukula pesa yangu i i thank them for being with me all that time like okay. it so um after amekula i remember to like sana kidogo na the manager of that place but i okay the manager to like sana na issue moja okay i'm sorry let me dig a bit deep deep kidogo right to sana na manager the reason why to sana na manager the the manager was like uh, because to make usaidia high school we, wa- we would like you to come and work for us you give back to the community mm-hmm. you know back up the community but maybe after five years four years you'll be employed here so um i was like amping rent no food no clothes yes i would like to give back to the community but what am i getting you know you you know you you example you can't have an energy in terms of number 50 then you share the like uh, like whole 50 to mm-hmm. the community mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know 
So I was like, I can't do that. And the guy was like, oh, end up busy, end up hustle, busy. It seems squeezy, person when you go you know, much about money. Now go and make money out there. It won't come out idea. And in Limumbia, I'll be back to campus with my own money and everything, if that's the only thing. And your cars, I pray for a blessing, you know? Yeah. Amen, man. You know? For sure, yeah. It's so funny. After one year, I went back there driving. Driving back to school? You no, know, to the same organization. The same org- oh, you have to say hi. Okay. And I, I don't curse anyone. I, they are my blessing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's, that's when I knew money, you know? Yeah. And now from there, started now, now selling clothes. Now, now it bulks, sasa. Mingi sasa, you know, you take a bail, mzima. Mm-hmm. You know? From there, ikafka mali, biashara ikanguka. Then I was like, let me go to sales. There is an app by the name, um, there's an app used by uh, housing finance. Mm-hmm. Housing finance, their app. Wiz, Wiz, thank you. It's called Wiz. Wiz. Mm-hmm. So we were the people who introduced Wiz to the market. Okay. Yeah. We were the people who introduced Wiz, uh, Wiz to the market. We were the people who did marketing from Kitengela, Kamulu, Kiambu, you know. So that's there was the first marketing thing Lilifanya. Uh, from there, Zuku, from Zuku, um, Safaricom, Safaricom, Fuliza. We the people also introduced Fuliza Fuliza and stuff. Oh, yeah. The guys who trap the young guys in Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we have Fuliza, yeah. then we had uh, something, any, anything else? Yeah, Kuna, we have something else. E Mpesa, in Guinea, what do you call it? M Shwari. M Shwari. Yeah. M Shwari still, since it will introduce Comarket. Okay. And uh, we did, I, I did things to do with club and stuff. Okay, I did anything to do with marketing. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, Nikitoka Pale, Nili Kujuku, Uki Pandengine, Niki were well equipped. Uh-huh. You know, and that's what Nambianga was saying. When it comes to money, don't, if you're employed, um, um, employed for like six months, don't start saying, hey, I want to quit my job. Niko self employed. You can go to Fala. You know, okay. you can go to Fala. Like, first make sure you earn something from there. Mm-hmm. Like, Jitengeneze, mm-hmm. equip yourself before you come out. Because, up on your siku raisi, ningumu, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so now that brought you to crypto. Yeah. Now okay. crypto, mm-hmm, crypto, okay, okay crypto is funny. <laughs> crypto. Yeah. You know, um, you know, we all give stories of our success and stuff, and how we did things marketing vizuri. But now, if Kamali kila kitu you know, like ngua ziendi, um, the marketing thing ain't happening, you know. Mnenda mnambua no 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 no, akuna job iko rao and stuff. So, no one taught me crypto. Nilijifunza. And the legit funds are through betting. Mm-hmm. You know, you okay. know, you know, you know, crypto, we using your crypto out of nowhere, like we get to evil. So, Mimi, 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 legit funds are through betting. So, one thing I used to do the betting thing, but not, but not the betting thing. I was scared of betting that uh, that time. I was scared of betting. So, what happened? I learned a scale of providing um, easy odds that could bet. Like, mm-hmm. I analyzed the game for you. Mm-hmm. I, I spend hours analyzing the games for you. Come alone in Manchester and Arsenal. I, uh, Pole Arsenal. Like, mm-hmm. I analyze, I analyze. It was, man. <laughs> Pole and soldiers. Pole, Pole and soldiers. <laughs> you, know, soldiers. you know, analyze, after analyze, I do bet myself, you know. Mm-hmm. Then, I share Kenyan in bet. And then, now I'm here, if in a week, if you don't have to maybe, okay, you can be 100%, but you can at least improve. Mm. Then, trust me, you can buy chai, you know. Mm-hmm. So I had a group, the same case in a billionaire had a group about marketing and stuff, network marketing. So I had a group where I took on a discuss about crypto, but I was the admin. So I used I used I used to spend uh, like uh, most of time kufanya nini? Kufanya analyzing and researching about yeah. um okay. betting. You know. Mm. So after kufanya betting and stuff, nika wana, hi <coughs> this thing in this okay, you know you know betting is funny. Betting betting is funny. Yeah, tell yeah. us, tell us. Cause you know, I betting really is funny. I, I've always been a bit also skeptical about betting. Uh, betting is be, uh, is gambling. Yeah. Kwanza number one is, gam- is gambling. That's, yeah. So, um, like a full week when there's a bet, na hundred, 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 you're losing, but you you still have the ile, ile hope ya. Maybe one day I'll be mm. a millionaire. Mm. The following day, like I'll be a millionaire next month or something. I'm a, mm. I'll be the winner of yeah. this kind of yeah. amount the of money. Jackpot, yeah. jackpot, yeah. you know. Yes. Yeah, okay. But eh, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> ain't easy oh. you know i remember the highest amount in shinda ya betting it was 36000 out of 100 bomb from 100 bomb yes and that's what the day nearly quit betting 
after you won after you, yeah, you, stra- you you kind of struggle too much eh? i struggle too much, i struggle like, let me take this at 6000 I, I was like <laughs> thank you nimetosheka yeah. yeah. now from there nikaanza kutafuta other things to do like you know once you mengi online by the way uh, as in billionaire can tell you once you have your your, your first foot online you don't come out bro for real yeah? you don't come out so nilianza mm. online na, na gambling so i was like i need more 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 what more platform to make money yeah. and that's why nearly land was something you call forex forex mm. okay yeah. Yeah. that is a good story yeah, yeah. so mr billionaire yeah you share, share your story M- my my journey is not as rosy as <laughs> oh he's <laughs> he's, he's make he's making anyway. that 6000 and then it's like <laughs> it's easy for him <laughs> you know what uh yeah. being slightly older than him yeah i grew up uh in a society where we are being told money is the root of all evil Mm. Oh. All right. Mm. So that's that, that's that's the background I came from. Uh and it was all over. You know, people being told money is the root of all evil. And we were being told rich people are very corrupt. True. You know? True. And even the Bible said it's easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle yeah. than a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. True. You know, so we grew up knowing that money is bad. Okay. Mm-hmm. So most of us, you know, you know in my age And that's how I was brought up. So money for me was a no no. You know, I even became an altar boy in our church. Oh, <laughs> you know, just to serve God, you know? I wanted to go to heaven. <laughs> I wanted to go to heaven. Yeah. yeah. So so my journey started that way. Uh-huh. Of of fearing money that, you know, and and then being told every single day at home, you know, we don't have enough. There's no enough. Mm-hmm. Go to dad's for money, dad will tell you go to mom. You know, so so there was never enough I uh, in our place in terms of money or you know uh, abundance if i may say so so and you are told go to school get good grades get a good job so so for me that was my mindset of getting a good job because good jobs are the ones that get people money and in our family we didn't have money so i made sure i went to school i made sure i got a good job at dhl for 13 years bro Mm. I was employed oh. by DHL. Oh, that genius. Yeah, and you were being given good money. Yeah. However, so I went to India, I did my, my 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 degree there, but I always said I will never ever get employed by anybody. My mindset was business. So, I started bringing leather jackets to Kenya. Mm-hmm. You know, and and selling them to airline hostesses. So, I went back to Pakistan, brought jackets. So, for me that's I started touching money. You know, good money. I could even uh, you know, do things for myself terms of buying shoes you know j- just pushing up myself because money was scarce in our family you know uh, so that that's the, that's the journey that I've taken in terms of just getting to know more about money and changing my mindset from what I knew about money to that you know and, and even uh, getting to know that the bible does not contain money it says the love of money is what is wrong not money itself not money itself yeah it's a love for money if you put money before your god mm-hmm. or before everything else if you're able to kill for money that's the problem so money is not bad because you you use money to build a church mm-hmm. you use money to help communities or to help uh, no the less privileged the preacher needs money you, you know, the preacher needs money yeah, yeah. pay tithe and stuff yeah pay tithe and yeah. all that yeah. so there's nothing wrong with money it's only the background the mindset that i came with you know into mm-hmm. to my, actually let me tell you something sami I didn't employ I didn't apply to get employed. You know? Yeah. I, I I went to this office uh, to sell a leather jacket. You know? Mm-hmm. I I had several leather jackets. So I went to DHL. And the marketing manager, I was going to sell a leather jacket to a marketing manager. And he told me, "Have you ever thought of being employed?" I said, "No. Would you like to get employed?" I said, "Why why should I get employed?" So in, in the in the discussion, he picked up his phone and called the HR manager. Uh that HR manager was Ghanaian. To me there's a guy here I need you to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> so we are selling to them. <laughs> that's me I'm selling to them. I'm selling a leather yeah, jacket to business. this guy. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm sent downstairs to yeah. the HR manager and the HR manager t- picks up a calculator says sell this to me. So I look at the calculator, I look at the good features and I sell it to him. He, he removes a packet pen from his pocket and says sell this to me. You know? After after our conversation tells me go and pick forms for employment <laughs> at the reception oh. and I stayed there for 13 years. Oh. You know, a guy who was not looking for a job. Yeah. I, and then in the process of being employed, I started 
a, a outdoor event company. I was I was hiring out tents and chairs. And I became so passionate. One thing about me is that everything I touch, everything I hold, I become so passionate about it. And I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm this kind of a guy who I, I you know mal, mal, multitasking is not something I do very well. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't do multitasking very well. But anyway, I try and do it. Uh, so I started this company, outdoor events. I was calling it En Vogue, En Vogue Tent House. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> uh, and it was just by sheer coincidence that I started this company. A friend of mine called Steve was heading out to the US and he had three tents that could not even stand very well. No, it was my point. They, could, they, they were old tents. So he brought them to my place in South B and he told me, hey, bro, just keep these things for me. Uh, and uh, and if you want to sell them, if you want to, you just do whatever you want to do. So my wife and I, we started a business. Call it and walk tent house. Three tents. So here I am, very ambitious guy. I have an outdoor event company. And I make flyers. Flyers. You know, many flyers. Advertising and walk tent house. And I go door to door, staying in South B that time. I go door to door, door to door, dropping flyers, dropping flyers. Planes you face, fl- you know. The whole of South B. Maria Kani, I went everywhere, just dropping flyers. This guy has how many tents? Three. Three. And I bought a hundred chairs. And he's talking about big business. <laughs> you know? So uh, I remember one day I was, I was in the office, just after dropping those flyers. I'm in the office at the airport, because that's where, uh, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was uh, stationed at the airport. So this guy calls me and says, uh, Anthony, uh, you do tents? Uh, I said, yes. You dropped a fly in my house? I said, yes. In South B, yes. Uh, he tells me, can you get me tents? I said, yes. <laughs> oh. The guy tells me, I need 12 tents. 12. Within two hours. And you had three? I had three. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had three tents that could not even stand well. They were, you know, they were, they were crippled in a way. <laughs> in a way. So this guy tells me, I need 12. Where? Intercontinental Hotel. Oof, big business. Big business. <laughs> Intercontinental Hotel. So anyway, I called my friend who, who had tents, who had started the business earlier. Uh, he dropped the tents in the Intercontinental Hotel, 12 of them. Uh, maybe people know him. It's called Wonder Joy. It's called Minor Wonder Joy. Minor Wonder Joy. Yeah, family. Big time business. Yeah, so it's, it's a guy I knew. Yeah, I know he yes, yes. He's big grown. Big he's, a big, he's a big time Wonder guy. Wonder Joy. To m- so mm-hmm. we are friends. Yeah. And we were friends even then. So I called him and told him, hey, Wonder Joy, Minor, I'm, I'm in deep shit here. I, I need you to deliver tents to Intercontinental Hotel. Uh, and you know, I've got an order. So he takes them. Very fast to intercontinental. Within those two hours, we were given pitches the tents, and I called the banquet manager that time, food, you know, food and beverages manager. I tell him, sir, Omar is called Omar Mohammed. Omar, those tents are not mine, but because of the time frame you've given me, and I'm also employed just like you in, at Intercontinental, I subcontracted. He told me, thank you very much for telling me the truth. Thank you very much. We became very good friends with Omar. If you're watching Omar, Omar Mohammed, yeah. surprisingly. He is a brother to Aidan Mohammed. Um. So we became very good friends with Omar Mohammed because mm-hmm. I told him the truth. And of course, the following day, Maina comes to the airport. I give him his cut. He was charging me 2,000 shillings for each tent. 2,000 bob. Yeah. And I was charging, uh, should I say? <laughs> anyway, I was charging <laughs> a, a higher amount. <laughs> I was charging a higher amount. Yeah, yeah. So, y- you know, and, and for me, that business gave me money. Because I would do 300,000 in a weekend. Oh. In a weekend? In a weekend, I would do 300,000. I grew. I plowed back. You know, I started doing three events. You know, two events, three events. And I would get money. Good money. 300,000, 400,000, 450. Because of doing events. You know? And I did that for six years. And it, the business just grew. Just grew. So, money started coming in. Started flowing. And I said, wow. I think now it's time for a vehicle. I bought myself a vehicle. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so after doing that business for six years, went tried something else, uh, trying to run a pub or trying to compete with choices, you mm. know, uh, just across the road, Baricho Road. It flopped after two years. Uh, and then I discovered, listen, there's another way to make money. There's a very, very easy and good way. Easier said than done, actually. 
So Sami and uh, my friend Francis, if I may ask you guys, which is the easiest way to make money or someone to become a billionaire or a millionaire? Any young person watching this, mm. how do you become a millionaire very fast? If you wanted to become one, simple. You get a million people to give you a shilling every single day. True. Get a million people. Yeah. The task is in finding these million people, million people and convincing them to give you that one shilling. You're right. And that is where now I started getting involved in network marketing. Because I realized, really, I can leverage on people. This is a business where you leverage on who Sammy knows, who Ronnie knows, who Francis knows. And you start making money from people you don't know. People you never met before. So there's power in network marketing. So I got involved in network marketing. Uh, and in 2020, 2010, I started seeing something popping up on my computer, on my laptop. Mm-hmm. Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Bitcoin. 2010. 2010. 2010 was... Yeah, I wish I wish I knew. I wish. <laughs> and, and you know what my thought was then that this is the virus called Bitcoin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I thought it was a virus and I kept deleting and that time Bitcoin was 20 20 dollars or something of that sort. Wow. You know? So but I, I didn't get to know what it was until 2016. And Bitcoin then was 540 dollars. 54,000 shillings. Meaning, with 150,000, 160, I would have gotten three. Three BTC. Three Bitcoins. Oh, What's the value today? I think 3.8 million. Ah, oh, 4.9. 4.9 9 <laughs> million. Okay. So, my journey with cryptocurrency started in 2016. You know? But I got involved in cryptocurrency the wrong way. Something called Bitcoin mining that didn't go very well, flopped in 20, 2019. Mm-hmm. It didn't go very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I've been involved in Bitcoin mining forex trading got employed slightly for about a year by a company that was starting uh, forex trading so i, I got now in, introduced into online because this was a company that was trading and making people money online you know with no brick and mortar you know no office just trading online i said is this possible and i realized there were many other companies like my company that had employed me there was a uh, hot forex there is a uh, paper stone yeah, EGM, all these companies mm-hmm. training people how to do forex trading, how to make an extra buck. That was 2016. That was 2016. That was 20, no, 2016, I was involved in network marketing. Network, network marketing. marketing, yeah. network marketing. Yeah. And I, I, did, I did a program that was locally uh, initiated. It was, it was a network, ma- network marketing by a local guy. Made some money. It was using airtime. You know, airtime that you'd register people with whatever airtime they load, you make some few cents. Guys would make 60,000 shillings a week, even more, because we, we used to get paid on a Thursday, every Thursday. Mm-hmm. So some people had even opened up accounts for their mothers, for their fathers, and they would manage those accounts. So you'd find a guy has 120,000, 160,000 in a week out of network marketing, something that people really don't, the young people don't <laughs> really want to yeah. venture into, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because of that hard work of, convincing you know, convincing, convincing yeah. and Follow rejection. And, and, and the thing is, yeah. I would say is also because of the kind of language uh, network marketers use. Go and recruit. I always tell people there's no recruitment in network marketing. Yeah. Recruitment happens in the army and the, um, and the armed forces yeah. and the police. Mm. In network marketing, you sponsor people. You, you show someone an opportunity. And if they like it, well and good. If they don't, move to the next person. Yeah, okay. So there's no recruitment in network marketing. Mm-hmm. Again, people talk about downlines. You know, some is my downline. There's no downline. The success line. You only look down on people if you're admiring their shoes. Mm-hmm. That's well, the only time you look down on people. Okay. But there are no downlines in network marketing. They're only success lines. And that's the time we use Mbaka today. Success lines. So when you bring people into the business, call them success lines, not... Down no downlines. Down so the language we use in network marketing has deterred a lot of young people from coming on board. You know, mm. go recruit. You have to recruit. No, it's like you have to close them. You have to close. You have to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. So, many words. so b- network marketing has taught me a lot. Uh, of course, even uh, now online, and Bitcoin. We, you know, Bitcoin. Uh, when I got involved, I opened up accounts for my people that I love within the family. It didn't go well. Twenty nineteen, it flopped, uh, and and now there's something bigger happening still online you know the the, the internet is changing you know uh there's a, there there like there's been a couple of booms as you know sammy yeah. uh, in this world mobile phones personal computers you know so many things the internet 
uh, and people made money in the process. Companies were opened up like Microsoft during those times, you know, of, uh, of, of the boom. Uh, Dell, personal computers, they made a lot of money. There's a boom coming, blockchain technology. Or everything is online. We live online. Everything is online. Blockchain technology. So that has been my journey with money. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've made money. I've lost money. Uh, and six years of just doing uh, outdoor events was absolutely awesome. I did a lot of events. But then, tent business is very labor intensive. So I wanted something that you know, was not labor intensive. Can we make money online? Mm. From people you don't know. From people you don't have to convince. From people who see what you've posted and they like it and say, how can you work together? In London, in Australia, Melbourne, people who don't know you, you know? Because uh, Kenya is a very visual society, mm. you know? I remember the time, uh, just before Chris Kirubi passed on, I went to his office, sharply dressed, you know? Sharply dressed. Obviously. Yeah, you, have to, you have to. You have to <laughs> no right. appointment. Oh, okay. I did not have any appointment with uh, the late. So I went to his office, Apple International Life House. Very confident. This is, uh, I, was, I used to call myself millionaire at that time. I used to call myself millionaire. Uh-huh. So the, the security guard asked me, uh-huh. uh, wh- wh- what's your name? I said, <laughs> millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> My name is millionaire. And I'm going to see the billionaire learn how to make money. Mm. A, they opened up the gate for me. Press uh, the, the, the lift. That's because of the confidence. Number 13. Yeah, yeah confidence. 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 Yeah. And of course, the dressing. Oh, had, yeah, I gone the in a, had I gone there in Akinyasa, <laughs> they would not and have allowed me. At like, yeah. So they, they, yeah. I went all the way. Even ushered into his boardroom and got a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He even came to meet me and gave me his card. Confidence. Who? Chris Kirubi? Yes. The okay, late Chris okay, Kirubi, okay, yes. Okay. okay, of course, I used to work for DHL. So I told him who I, who I, who I was. Uh, you know, so he we, we told me, listen, I'm, I'm just traveling out of the country. When I come back, please, uh, you know, let, let's have a meeting. You know, so I, I was saying, I wanted, I, you know, because of reading books, I said, I wanted to associate myself with people who are making money. You know, people who are above me. You know, P- people who I look up to, not people who look up to me. You know, I wanted to, and that's, that's, a, that's a lesson for young people. Mm-hmm. You know, associate yourself with people who are not maybe, not necessarily in your league. I'm not saying you don't talk to guys who are within your bracket. Yeah. But a translate and you know how you can do that? Even by reading books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Just just by reading a book by a guy called T Hav Eka, for example. Mm-hmm. Or Dr. Wale Akiemi. Mm-hmm. You know? So so re- just reading books, you're associating yourself with people who are already maybe where you want to be. Mm-hmm. You get? So I started reading a lot. I, I used to read twelve books in a month. Twelve is twelve. Hours. Twelve. Until yeah, I met my one of my mentors is called Dr. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, 12 books. 12 books. How do you do 12 books? Just twelve books in a month. In a month. Because even one book is... One book in a month is Let a struggle. Let me tell you. Let if me you're tell taking like 40 minutes a day. Oh. You, you know, I would wake up in the morning, yeah. like 5 o'clock, read until 8, then step out of the house. 5, t- okay. Again, I was in a group of people who love reading. We, used to, we read, we read uh, one of the best books I've ever read, bro. It's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Yeah. So we used to meet in town, 80 people, 100 people at times, Chambua chapter by chapter of Think and Grow Rich. You know, what are the lessons you've learned? So we grew, we, 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 I mean, it was dedicated every single day until we finished that, that book, Think and Grow Rich, mm-hmm. you know? But yes, like you said, a lot of young people, when they leave school, they read no book at all. Mm. There's no True. other book, there's no book they ever read. Uh, and, and for me, the, the mind is like a muscle. It's like a bicep or a tricep. It only gets better when you exercise it. Mm-hmm. The exercise for the mind is reading. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I always, we always hear people say, uh, no, knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. I have a guy I follow called Jim Quick. You know Jim Quick? Jim Quick says, then if knowledge is power, then reading and learning is your superpower. Right? Mm-hmm. So your superpower, your mind is exercised by reading. And just by following people. I'm not talking about reading on Facebook. You know, Facebook, this thing that we people read every single day. Because every, every time you enter a matatu, uh, public means, you'll find people on phone. Right? Yeah. But they're not reading. They're just playing games. So people like being entertained, not being educated. Yeah. So, and I'm, so I'm, not, I'm not claiming I am educated more than other people. But I'm just saying, uh, we use our gadgets the wrong way at times. You know, 
there's, there's opportunity online like we're here to discuss. Mm-hmm. So my journey has been that way in terms of money. Uh, there's still more to be made. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of more money to be made. Yeah. There's a whole economy opening up mm-hmm. worth $139 trillion. So young people who are watching can actually tap into that market. Mm-hmm. Yes. Give example. During COVID, mm-hmm. I don't know whether you saw a video of uh, Paul Bearers. They, they were carrying a coffin. Guys were dancing. They were dancing, you know, with, yeah. the, with the coffin. Yeah. The guy who did that video is a Ghanaian guy. He converted that video into an NFT and did $1.26 million. You saw that? I didn't know that. $1.26 million. I didn't know that. You saw that? And it's true. Yeah, Ghanaian guy converted that into an NFT and he made $1.26 million. So what I'm saying is there are new ways of making money that don't necessarily have to involve take so long. You know, like some of us have taken, mm-hmm. you know, five years, six years, seven years. I'm not saying I'm wealthy by, by all means. Uh, you know, it's, everything is a journey. But there are new ways that young people can actually make money so fast. So, so fast. Without having to steal. Mm-hmm. Without having to go into politics. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, without having to bet. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, betting, please. <laughs> you know please. please. If you, know you do bet, bet, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, so there are many, many ways, uh, yeah. some that people can actually make money. Uh, I'm exploring some of them. I, I don't, I, w- I won't claim that I know everything. Mm-hmm. But I'm exploring some Could of you them. You mentioned like some that guys can, that you you actually believe that can really help guys. No. I'll be, I'll be very biased if you, if you ask me that question because I'm already in one that's yeah. making me a couple of dollars every single day. Yeah. It's a community we are building. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and and a lot of people, you know, pe- people when they hear something, they always go to Google and fa- and such. You know, what is this thing? Uh, it's called the Hyperverse. Yeah. It's called the Hyperverse. Where we are building a community of 30 million people. Mm-hmm. You know, we are 3.5 now. When you become a member, you're paid every single day. By being a member, you're paid 0.3% every single day. Mm-hmm. So, uh, give, give, say, say $10,000. 10, every say ten, day? No, say $10,000. Oh. Say you put in a membership of $10,000. Oh, okay, okay, Meaning, yeah. uh, 0.3% mm. is $30. 30, yeah. 30 okay. multiplied by 30. Per day. Yes. 30 yeah. multiplied by 30 is 90 Gs. Okay. Young people cannot get $10,000, mm-hmm. to be honest, because that's a million plus. But the lowest entry point is $400. You know, someone can someone can even borrow money and use the hyperverse to repay it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So th- there are very many ways of making money online. And they're all driven by blockchain. Mm-hmm. You know, quite a number of ways. Mm-hmm. M- the, the metaverse is one of them. Uh, NFTs is, is, is another. There, there are v- various ways. And we'll delve much deeper into those yeah. Some of them as you go along, yeah. but I will say my journey has been has been good. Mm-hmm. I've gotten a lot of people who are very supportive. I've met uh, people who are you know mentors. That's another thing. Young people need mentors, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm sure maybe some of your viewers now they'll go and look at the hyperverse. What is the hyperverse? Mm-hmm. One time I met a doctor, and this doctor told me, Anthony, billionaire. I wish I didn't do. I, I, I wish I only I didn't become a doctor. I wish I never became a doctor. I wish I only treat uh, animals. I wish I became a veterinary doctor. I asked him why, sir. He said cows never go to Google to find out what they're suffering from. Oh. <laughs> but human beings have become their own doctors. So you see, if you have a backache, backache, you'll go to Google and find remedies for a backache. Mm. If you have a stomachache. Mm-hmm. Or you're and then you'll come when it's when it's actually like at the l- last. No, point or you'll go, you are the one who is advising the doctor, the doctor what to what to, <laughs> what to give what, you. what to give you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're already more knowledgeable than the doctor. Yet he's the only one to campus to uh, study. To, and yeah, to study being a doctor. Yeah. So this girl is complaining. you still telling me, I wish I never became a you know a doctor. I wish I became a veterinary doctor because mm-hmm. cows never go to Google to find out. Yeah. So and there's a lot of noise on on on, on the internet. Mm-hmm. It's a du- I, I call it a double-edged sword. Yeah. You can find good stuff and you'll find negative stuff. So when looking for a mentor, you need to know the right mentor also. Yes. And knowing the right mentor, let's say it's someone who's achieved what you have, you want to achieve. Correct. Not just the guys who are sharing. Because we were sharing, with, we were just talking here when we were saying that 
there are so many guys out there who share a lot mm-hmm. but really don't have their own experience yes. on it. Yeah, true, they yes. Don't. They're just sharing what other guys yeah. do share. Yes. So I'm liking I'm, I'm like In fact, in fact what they do, they mm-hmm. google and give you. Like okay, uh they'll say I'm a consultant. Y- yeah. You know, I'm a consultant. But you will never you like this person can't convince you mm-hmm. one on one. They can only convince through WhatsApp, yeah. you know. Or they can only uh, con- uh, uh, convince through WhatsApp, yeah. or they can only convince through um, social media, let's say Instagram and stuff. Mm-hmm. And what what they give you, they don't give you what they are using to make money. They Google, mm-hmm. you know. They Google. They send you videos from YouTube, like <laughs> like I share videos, a uh, billionaire's video, to you. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm not giving you my own experience. I'm giving you someone's experience. Now now something funny. Mm-hmm. Maybe <laughs> even the billionaire is not sharing his own experience. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Yeah. So you'll end up um doing nothing. Mm. You ain't learning. You all floating. Because I'm floating, you're floating. Mm. Billionaire is floating. Mm-hmm. You know, so we ain't making anything. We ain't moving, we ain't growing. I'm wasting my time. Mm. You know. Yeah. yeah. That time I'm looking at you as a guru. I'll, thank uh, you. Because you've sent to me, I'm like, this guy must know everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm relying on the information you're telling me. Because after you send me that video, I'll be like, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. So I'm yeah. asking for advice. Uh-huh. Yeah. But now you have your way of like. Well, well and, and I think uh, the most important thing is uh, when you're looking for, when someone's looking for a mentor, yeah. authenticity is very important. Mm-hmm. I, I'll say I've made money, I've lost money. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've succeeded here, I've failed here. So, but a mentor who just comes and tells you, "Oh, I've been successful all through," that that could, that might not be true, be really, true. Yeah. because everybody has failed. Everyone has ups and downs. Yeah, life. L- if life was just straight, yeah. then we would all be dead. So, if they share their mm. downs for you and you feel like it's authentic, that's the right mentor. Yes, in, in fact, they should you should not be. I mean, someone should not even be asking. Mm. We should be sharing. You know, mm. uh, m- m- some men, some some of the mentors I follow, you, you cannot, they cannot, they actually say where they failed. And it's in failing that they learned a lot. They learned, yeah. yeah. They picked themselves up. What are the lessons learned here? And they moved on. Mm. Yeah. I, I believe, uh, you know, you know when, when it comes to choosing a mentor, uh, most of these mentors, they are online. Because mm. uh, nowadays, we are all of online, right? Yes, yes. So these mentors are online. And uh, most of them, they have shared their journey. You know? So if you go, um, example, I look at maybe a uh, billionaire's story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of being successful and uh, there is no single day billionaire has ever posted something negative about the business maybe or whatever thing billionaire is doing mm-hmm. you know so most probably that's to me that's not a good mentor mm-hmm. you know that's not a good um, uh, good mentor because there's up and down you know mm. and if you keep on sharing success stories like like every month you're buying something bro every, every year you're buying something every year you <laughs> you're becoming more and more successful. Mm. Run. Run. Mm. Yeah. I like what you guys are sharing because what I'm getting from you guys is that when guys, the mindset, because I wanted also to dive into the mindset of yes. making money because yeah. right now I'm hearing you guys are talking about reading books, mm-hmm. finding a mentor. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's a place that many guys, that's that's like, a, little people actually do that. Because mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm imagining, because that time I tried the Bitcoin thing. Yes. Because yeah. now in my... <laughs> I had a cousin who actually got successful with it. Yeah. So I was like, let me throw a bit. Yeah. It's trades for me. Yes. But mine actually flopped. Mm-hmm. But you see, from that day, I was like, never again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I asked him, hey, you return my money. Yeah. You're, jo- <laughs> you're joking with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now I go to see the like, yo. So I'm, 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 I'm seeing now the like, mindset has to play in part. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It just can't be an easy win. Mm-hmm. As what I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see. Yes. That you have to, there's more. You can't just win just like that. So... Uh, so is there anything else you'd want to add in the mindset, the the, the mindset part? Yeah, for, for me, I'll say, I'll say something, Sami. Yeah. Every, everything, or most of the things that we do in the, in, in, on Earth, there are laws. There's the law of gravity. I mean, if you're on the f- fourth floor of a building and jump from that building, mm-hmm. uh, no, there's no, the only way they is, is down, yeah. you know, and you'll break or die or whatever it is. Uh, there's a law of germination. That when you plant a seed, it's most likely to grow. That is, if you well water it, if you water it well. There's also the law of attraction that uses the mind. You know, that you, you've got to identify your desire. What do you want in life? Wh- how much money do you want to make by a certain age? You know, those are things us guys were never taught. 
You were never taught mm. in school so those things. And the, our parents also. Yes. In our in most African homes, we are not taught about money. We are not taught hey. about money. Yeah. Never taught about money. Uh, you, we we we, di- we discover these things along the way. Mm. Even even some of these laws, even having a mentor. For me, I picked that up very late in life. That hey, by the way, I, I need a mentor. My dad was not my mentor, you know, because you know he, he was just he, he was he was he lived in his own world life, you know, from what he knew. So the law of attraction, just ha- learning how to use our mind. You know, mm-hmm. we, we have a very powerful tool, but we hardly ever use it. Mm-hmm. Why? We are either watching movies all the time, yeah. <laughs> you know, binging on movies, yeah. not reading a book. I would rather read a book than watch a movie, yeah. to be you honest. learn more from the book than from the movie. Now, <clears throat> yeah. let me give an example. Yeah. The book Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill took 25 years to research all these guys. Henry Ford... You know, all these rich guys during those days of the, of the steam engine, he took 25 years. You can read that book in a month if you are slow. Mm. Meaning you're compressing 25 years into one month of knowledge. Of knowledge. Imagine, that is powerful. Yeah. 25 years into one month. If you look at my Think and Grow Rich, uh, you know, I've, I've you know, highlighted, mm-hmm. you know, If in fact somebody borrowed it and they refused to return it we became enemies oh, for oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah we became yeah so what i'm saying is uh young people also learn need to learn how to read and and follow people yeah. and and follow people who are doing big things so following people reading books reading books yeah those Re- are those are the main ones you'd say and i've heard you also saying about the law of attraction as we just wind up yes because i know i, I read also the law of attraction yeah, yes. sometime and it says uh, you think of like a million dollars mm-hmm. like every day you have to like repeat to yourself do you guys believe in Now, in that i do the guys who do it because my problem is yeah the guys who do it but forget they put in the work yes you know, um yeah. let me um you see you know um you've said you think of a, a million dollar yeah, and, repeat and you yourself, keep on repeating yours, every day it's yours, it's yours. Yeah. Yeah. to me that that uh, doesn't make sense to me do you know why yeah. because um uh, right now if you go to google go and google any kind of motivation speech mm. or maybe a video yeah. we have millions and million of views you know there are people who watch motivation daily but they do nothing yeah so mm. t- to me it doesn't make sense so if, if if every day you wake up and still seeing a million dollar a million dollar you are doing nothing you will sing up y- you will sing for the next 40 years a million dollar yeah but if you are if you're seeing a million dollar and you are doing something about it yes. if you have a goal mm. a goal like today i'm targeting a million dollar Today I'm going to hit one dollar. Tomorrow two dollars, mm-hmm. three dollars. Now combine whatever it's on your book target goal. Now seeing a million dollar, mm-hmm. you will achieve it. But every day, you know, there's this thing people call affirmation. Mm, you affirmation, know, keep on yeah. saying, "I wanna be rich. <laughs> I wanna be rich. I'll be rich. Ah. I'll buy car." Now, yeah. when will you ever buy car, bro? Mm-hmm. You, you you are ever saying you wanna buy car? Nataka kuomoka every day, nataka kuomoka. Yeah. But you're doing nothing. You are spending 10 hours on Instagram. Yeah. Um sorry but reading <laughs> about <laughs> yeah hey, uh, uh reading about yeah. Jalango's wife and uh and yes. Sami's yeah, wife how is wife okay. yeah. and when you go to sleep you are seeing a million dollar at night but during the day you're doing nothing you, you're doing gossip blogs yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. you are doing nothing so yeah. just continue singing a million dollar you'll get a million dollar w- when you're dead in heaven <laughs> so you'd advise guys to to put in the work you put in the work yeah. have a goal target yeah but the uh, the thing of repeating to yourself do you do you believe in it yeah i believe in it yeah. if you are doing something extra extra yeah 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 okay. yeah. So, so. yeah i i do believe in it okay uh the law of attraction works upon it's, it's about a feeling are you feeling abundance yeah. or are you feeling scarcity mm-hmm. what what's basically ruling your mind at that particular time i can say i want i want a, a million dollars but i don't believe it mm-hmm. so the affirmation should come with belief, with belief. Mm-hmm. any doubt erases yeah. that affirmation yeah. mm-hmm. if you're doubting you know the, the, that day i went to chris kirubi oh, i i look on me yeah. i'm the man i'm the man, <laughs> I'm, the man. I, I, i'm the millionaire, <laughs> millionaire. i'm going to meet the billionaire himself yeah, yeah. so it all depends on what your belief level if you doubt that you can make that 1 million then you won't make it yeah. because already the doubt erases your affirmation yeah. and it, now for me the law of attraction works because i should put myself in a position that i've already achieved that 1 million 
how will it make me feel? So affirmation and love attraction is about feeling. Mm. What that one million will do for me and the people around me. Mm. What will it do for my communities? What can this one million, how, how will it help Ronnie? You know, if, if, if Ronnie is not doing very well, or if Ronnie needs help from me, what's the feeling I get when I get that affirmation, mm. when I do that affirmation? So it does work. Mm. It's a law, just like gravity, just like electricity that you can never see, mm. but we use it, it works. So it's the feeling that comes up and also the ideas that the come idea. up. Right? And the action that you take in. The action Thank you. Take. I was waiting for the action because... And the action. You you know, can, you can, I cannot just be a family yeah. and I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm at home, mm. but there's nothing I'm following up on. Okay. Yeah, it should be actually uh, merged and blended in action. Okay, yes. so, so, so now we'll come to the end of the video. That was really, really <laughs> powerful. Right. So you guys have heard from the billionaire and Dabi here, man. This is a video worth a lot of knowledge, man. You need to share it with guys. So thank you for watching this video. Cause, uh, like and subscribe because you know I release videos just like this every week and you don't want to miss it, man. You guys see quality guys here, man. <laughs>